What's up, this is Tom with Elevating WordPress, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing SiteGround's startup plan against their Grow Big and Go Geek plan. So if you don't see the $3.95 a month, it's going to be at $9.95. I would just wait until they run a promotion, um, but usually they do. So, you know, definitely make sure you purchase it at $3.95 a month if you're doing that. But with Startup, you can ho only host one website, while Grow Big and Go Geek, you can host unlimited websites. And if you s click this uh, Plan Details tab right here, one of the main things you want to look at, if you scroll all the way down, is the We Allocate the Resources You Need. So if you hover over each tab, you can see a description, but the server resources are what makes your website load faster. So as you upgrade plans, you basically get double the amount of server resources. So here is Startup, here's Grow Big, and here is Go Geek. So I personally think Grow Big is a good medium. If you upgrade for only $4 a month, um, not only do you get the more server, more server resources, but you also get priority support, so you're further up in the queue. And SiteGround support is amazing regardless, so if you choose Startup, you know, you're going to get great support. That's just not going to be as quick, but it's still pretty quick. So other than the obvious features like more storage, more email storage, free domain name, um, you also get a free migration. So if you're hosted with HostGator or Bluehost or GoDaddy, I've had internal server errors on those and do not recommend them. My website was super slow until I went to SiteGround, and now it's about a 0.5 second load time. So I'll show you just by clicking through my pages, you know, you can see it loads instantly. Um, but yeah, the, uh, let's see, you can ignore the uh, WordPress special cache and the super cacher. So even though you may think, okay, you know, caching affects site speed, I want all three levels, but you have to use their cache plugin, and honestly, it's not that great. I would use W3 Total Cache, WP Fastest Cache, or WP Super Cache, and I wrote tutorials on um, WP Fastest Cache and W3 Total Cache. I would definitely recommend looking at that. That tutorial has helped multiple people improve their load time to like a 98% page speed page speed score in GT metrics. And I also wrote a really good WordPress speed optimization guide. Very, a lot of people have used that. I would definitely check it out if, if you're looking for site speed. But um, startup, you get one daily backup with Grow Big and Go Geek, you get 30. Backup and resource service, it's basically like a tool that allows you to more easily back up your website. That comes with Grow Big and Go Geek. Premium backup and restore. SiteGround actually will do resource, restore your website for you if you need it. And then you can hover over each one of these for a description. But uh, I would say the, the server resources is definitely the main thing. The priority support is good. And the ability to host unlimited websites on Grow Big and Go Geek. But if you don't need those, then start up. It's very cheap for a reason, but it may suffice for a lot of websites. So here's my GT Metrics report, uh, 0.6 second load time. It's really good, and that's kind of why I like SiteGround. So that is my review. One, one last thing, if you hover over the Technology tab, you can look and read about their data centers and speed technology and uptime technology, all of which are amazing. Uh, the speed solutions, that's one of the main reasons I switched to SiteGround. They also actually have 99% uptime, unlike HostGator or a lot of other bad hosting companies. So one last thing, I didn't include an affiliate link to SiteGround's plans, which bas basically earned me a commission if you sign up. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, um, I make videos for a living, so it would really help me out and I'd appreciate it. If not, that's all right too, but I hope you enjoyed this, and feel free to leave me a, com a comment in the comments section if you have any questions. Thanks.